<laughs> Dude, I still got him. Here we go, here we go. He's right here. He's gonna hit it. Dude, that was amazing. He choked it too, dog. Yo, what's poppin', boys and girls, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today, we're gonna be doing some pond fishing. More importantly, we're gonna be pond fishing with frogs. That has to be one of my favorite things to do, guys. I love going out on the boat. I love hitting the lakes. I love hitting the rivers. But pond fishing with frogs, there's something about it. It's just really fun, and uh, we can run into a big fish as well. The weather recently has been very tough. You know, it's been raining the last few weeks. We barely got any time to get out here and do some fishing, but we have a couple hour window. It's gonna rain in a few hours. So we're just gonna tie these frogs up, get out on the pond, hopefully catch some big fish. You guys need to pay attention to my Instagram and YouTube this week. We have a bunch of big announcements coming. Go follow me on the IG at Kicking Their Bass TV. I'm telling you, big updates. Everybody that's been asking about the old rod and reel combos, they're coming guys. They're coming, it's closer than ever and uh, they're about to be released. They're gonna be sold out in the first, I swear, 30 minutes. So you guys need to go to kickingtheirbass.com. There's gonna be a little pop-up. This is be the first to know. Type in your phone number. You're gonna be notified before anybody else when these combos drop. Well, let's go ahead and rig up our rods. Let me show you what combo I'm gonna be using. I'm actually not using the kicking combo today just because I don't have braid on here. If I had a braided combo, I'd be using that, but we're gonna actually pull out my old Mach 2 right here. And this usually isn't my frog rod. This is actually a medium heavy. Um, is this even, this is actually a medium. So this is gonna be interesting today. When throwing a frog, especially on ponds, I can get away with a medium heavy fast action, just like this rod right here. But this medium is very flimsy. And I use this for like my walking baits. I can get away with the buzz bait, little poppers. But today we're gonna to be throwing a frog on it. So I guess we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna to have to lean into those fish really good. And uh, I think it's gonna be a good time. So, let's go ahead and cut this bait off, tie on a frog, and get this video started. Love you guys. So, we are going to go ahead, cut this buzz bait off, even though I think we can catch them really good. Who knows, maybe later today, maybe. It is a little windy today, which I don't really like the wind when I'm throwing a frog, but a buzz bait, on the other hand, can smoke them in the wind. If you guys want to check out any of the rods or baits that I use in the videos, I'll have discount codes down below. I'll also have links that you guys can click on. So if you guys want to go get some baits for a cheaper price, feel free to do so down below. If you guys are wondering what knot I'm tying, standard uni knot. Same knot we're always tying on the channel, guys. My favorite one. It's a really good knot. I'd say the top two knots out there are a polymer knot and a uni knot. They're both outstanding knots. Cinch her down. Boom. All right. Looks like we're good to go. So this is going to be interesting today on a medium rod throwing a frog. This is actually my first time doing it, but I'll tell you, I can actually jack into these fish without slinging them out of the water. You know, they're going to put up a good fight on this rod. Well, let's go ahead and get out to this pond and try to catch some fish. I'm excited for it. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, it's been a minute since I've been to this pond. Very clear water out here. It's got a little bit of grass on top. Looks like a lot of it has died off or the wind has actually pushed a ton to the other corner. Our biggest thing, I think we start off right here. There is a bunch of bait fish just popping. I think we start off here, throw around some of this cover, some of these lay downs. Then we're gonna work our way to the back of the pond. There's a little bit of wind pushing up in there and I don't like to work a frog in the wind, but I will say one of the last times we came, Cody, I don't know if you remember this, when the wind picked up, we started slamming them. Yeah, they were so, just cooling up so so much back there. Dude, they were, they were a lot in that corner. So I say we start off here, see if we can get one or two cover this bank there might be a few ro roaming up and down then get to the back there and really put a hurting on these fish so let's go ahead and get it started walk this frog a lot should be some fish that are just roaming around right here a little bit of grass, a little lay down. Oh, 
I'm just kind of fan cast. I think we can get one down this bank. It's just, it might be towards the back of this pond. Dude, that's a good one too. That was sweet. First little grass patch we've seen. Oh, dude. That's how you want them to eat it too. Not a bad little fish. Yeah, how he ate that thing. That's how you want it right there. We fished this whole side of the pond, not even a bite, not even a swirl, nothing. We got up here, there's like this little tiny grass patch. And we got the first fish today. That is a fat little one and a half pounder right there. You gotta love it. That's cool right there, Cody, ain't it? That's nice. He exploded on that thing. Yeah. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you, buddy. Be just a little toss. I don't know if I can walk all the way to the bottom now. I just know I'll end up slipping and sliding right in. Can you still recording? I was gonna yeah. stop recording, but you were so close to the water that I had to keep it on. I love how I said that and then just decided to do it anyways. I was like, you know what? All right, first fish down. Many more to go. There might be another one on this patch. Decided to throw another cast in there. Oh no, I thought it was good. <gasps> oh, dude, that was that was a good little fish. That was like a two plus, bro. He was on that patch. There was another one there. Dude, why did he swirl on it like that? That was so weird. That's like the river fish for me recently. They'll just come up and swirl on your top water and they want you to... I don't know. I saw the whole side of his body. Yeah. It's like he just rolled up under it. I mean, that's a fish that we possibly come back for in 30 minutes. He might bite, but... Yeah. There's got to be one down that. I just want to see one demolish it out of the water. You know what's crazy, dude? I had a feeling in my head that one was gonna do that. That's so weird. I was like waiting on it almost. As I was reeling it in, I'm just waiting. They're acting weird. They're not committing until like last second. This is the thing, it's like, guys, I'm throwing a, this isn't a popping frog, it's a little standard frog. And when it's windy like this, I don't even like throwing a frog, but if I was, I would like to have a popping frog. So what I'm doing with this one, there he is. Nice bass, dude, they're choking it though. I will say that we've had a few miss it, but like the ones that have ate it, dude, look at that. That's exactly, Oh, you want a fish to eat it right there right in his throat perfect that's a chunky dude too he's got some size to him there we go boys and girls that's a good little fish ain't it that's a little brute that's a nice one. that is a nice fish we've had a few bites now a few miss it we've had two that have actually ate it <laughs> they've like got it in the back of their throat which is sweet that's a nice little fish thank you baby a little toss she goes so when i was talking about before i got that bite you know normally if it was a little windy i'd want to throw a popping frog but i have a standard frog right here so what i'm doing is i'm doing a little walk the dog technique on the frog so i'm moving this thing consistent the whole time back and forth walk 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 and that's how they've been eating it it's kind of firing them up to commit <laughs> dude i'm gonna tell you Comment down below, guys, if that happens to you with braid. It's like nothing that you do. It's just the braid is sometimes not up. It can be annoying. Well, we've got two fish so far. I want to see some bigger ones, though. we got a good couple healthy ones. 
I just want to see a good three, four pounder. Gosh, that was cool. That was freaking sweet. He's running at me like crazy. That's sweet. Not a big one, but <laughs> that was a cool bite. You gotta love that. Man, he like destroyed that frog. Probably the smallest one yet, but that was the coolest bite yet. I'll give it that. He went out of the water for that sucker. Thank you, buddy. He never had it all the way. It was weird. He like came up and just kind of slurped it down without having it. That's weird. I think there might be a school of those on there. You know how they stack up really good in this corner. I think there might be a school of fish on this grass line. The wind's hitting it perfect. I will say that. I need to get, I think I need to get towards that lay down that's going off the point. Yeah. Yes. Right when it hit the water. I'm having to work this like a little bait fish. I'm not working it like a frog by any means. Cause these fish are sitting right here on this point. And you got a few of these fish, what they're doing is they're just sitting right on that point you got all this wind blowing right up in it. It's pushing a lot of bait fish in this corner. And these fish are just sitting here. You know, a frog isn't the best bait to be throwing at these fish, but I'm really working at it like it's just a little injured bait fish running across the top of the water. It's triggering these bass to bite. You can tell that they're stacked on that point really good. We've had like three bites and that is a golden bass if I know of one. That has one of the prettiest markings on a fish that I've seen in a while. go thank you buddy get you right back in all right so we're walking back in this pond to the, to the back corner you know we fished this whole thing only had a few bites we got right here we noticed that some of these fish are stacked up the one thing i noticed about this corner versus the other one is all this wind's pushing up in here so all these fish are going to be pushed around this pocket you know as all the bait fish come in one thing i noticed in the back of this cove too you know we're in the summertime right now it's super hot these fish are going to be getting under a lot of cover there's a ton of slop that's over the top of the water, which I'll show you. We'll walk over here this way. And this is about to get crazy. I feel like these fish are about to be stacked up in this pocket. And uh, they're going to come right up through that slop and smoke this frog. This is going to be some of the coolest footage that we've got in a while. If you show them right there, Cody, that's where all the slop is. I mean, it's literally caked on that whole back corner. And that's usually where those fish are positioned. They're usually stacked up in a little school back in this corner. So I think we're about to get on them really good. So let's go ahead and start casting. There we go. Working this thing so fast. Nice. Here we go, that's another pretty fish. I think that's like fish number five. Really not bad, I mean, we've been throwing this frog around a lot, but have five fish on it, man, we can't complain. Can't complain one bit, not a big one, but it's a pretty guy. Pretty fat, chunky dude. That's like old Jimmy. Yep. Old Jimmy. See you, little Jimmy. See you, little Jimmy. There he goes. Yeah. All right, guys, we, we got five so far, which is not bad at all. We've covered a lot of water. We've thrown this frog a lot, all on different ends of this pond. They don't seem to be biting insanely good, but we're still getting bites on this frog. I'm having to work it really fast with this wind and make it visible to these fish. Just kind of acting like it's a little bait fish. Going across the top of the water. We should get bit right there. Dude, did you see that? That would have been a money cast. Woo, 
Oh, baby. Eat her. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I still got him. I always slip out here, bro. I think it's like a curse. I didn't even know you would slip. Dude, this is a good one, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> bro, that was funny, man. I slipped probably three times and four attempts on trying to get up. <laughs> Look at that one, dude. That's not a bad one, is it? No, that's he ate it all the way across the pond. It's funny, man. This medium rod is not like a medium heavy or a heavy. It doesn't have as much backbone. And so when I went to hook set, I just didn't have them all the way and I slipped, fell on the ground. <laughs> that's a good bass though. Oh, that was cool. I bet you there's another one on the other side. Let's just not slip this time. <laughs> like the softest little frog bite very little it. soft bite <laughs> like i was expecting them to be a lot smaller than that <laughs> yeah what in the world it's such a skinny fish though such a skinny bass it's a pretty one though mm -hmm. it's just so like skinny like look at that really thin that was a weird frog bite all right, so we ended up coming out to another pond. The water clarity is a lot different than it normally is out here. So maybe we'll get a bite. Maybe, maybe we just will. There's some bigger ones in here too. So maybe we can get like a four or five pounder. That would be clutch. I think the first cast I'm gonna mess around with, there's this tree, there's a bunch of laydowns. I wanna skip way back up in there. There's a bunch of big gators in here too. Big boys. It's just hard with all this stuff here. All right, that's, dude, that's so money. Dude, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. He's running at me. He's running. This is what we've been waiting for, baby. This is a good fish. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking, Cody. It wasn't as big as I thought, but that was a solid like two and a half pounder. That was a good one. He destroyed that frog. He was running at me the whole time. That fish was smart. He had that leverage. I'm sure we'll give it another bite. Let's keep at it. Still one under me. Look at him. He's chasing the heck out of it. But he won't eat it. Trying to catch a squirrel. My bad. A little dangle action, maybe. I have, and none of them have taken the opportunity. Kind of upset about it. Dude, this wine? Oh. What? What? Dude, one just no. turned on it, yeah. Really? I saw his whole body. <gasps> There's coming up to bro. Oh, I see him right there. See him on the left hand side? I'm gonna flip it right in front of him, bro. Here we go. Here we go. He's right here. He's gonna hit it. Dude, that was amazing. He choked it too, dog. That's a good fish. Yes, bro. Freaking yes. Look how he ate that sucker, dog. That was a cool catch, man. I didn't even see that, Cody. If it wasn't for you saying that, I probably wouldn't even have done that. 
But I could see him sitting there, the clear water. That's a good fish, dog. Mm -hmm. That's the same one. <laughs> yeah, he like twirled. I, I saw him once you said that. I could see him on the left-hand side. Dude, he just tackled that frog. <laughs> That's why you gotta love frog fishing, guys. And more importantly, why you gotta love bass fishing. Catching fish like that, and those moments right there, you can't replace them. That's an awesome fish. Guys, we couldn't have ended off this video any better way. I mean, that was such a cool catch right there. We had a great time coming outside, throwing this frog around. We're on crunch time right now because we have some rain pulling through. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Let your boys know. Text my videos to a friend. I'd really appreciate it. We're on the road to a milli. But I love you guys so much. And I'll catch you in the next episode.